introduction refraction when light travels from one medium to another it generally bends this bending is called refraction angle of incidence the angle formed between the normal and incident ray is called angle of incidence angle of refraction the angle formed between the refracted and normal ray is called angle of refraction angle of emergence the angle formed between the normal and emergent ray is called angle of emergence real time example bottom of a tank or a pond containing water appears to be raised printer matter through a thick glass slab placed on the table appears to be raised pencil immersed in a glass containing water appears to be displaced at the interface of air and water apparatus required a drawing board four all pins white sheet of paper rectangular glass slab a protector a scale a pencil and thumb pins procedure take a soft drawing board fix a white sheet on it with the help of thumb pins place a rectangular glass slab in the center of the white paper and draw its outline boundary with pencil mark this rectangular figure obtained as a b c d With the help of a protractor, draw one angle of forty-five degree. Fix two pins P and Q on the ray of this angle. The distance between the pins should be more than four to five centimeter. See through the glass slab from side C D, and fix pin R and S. Pin. P, Q, R, and S should lie in the straight line when seen through the glass slab. Now remove pins P, Q. or and yes one by one and draw small circles around the pin points and mark incident angle i refracted angle r angle of emergence e and lateral displacement d respectively conclusion the angle of incidence is nearly equal to the angle of emergence The angle of refraction is less than angle of incidence because light is traveling from rarer to denser optical medium. The lateral displacement remains the same for different angles of incidences. When the light ray travels from optically rarer medium to optically denser medium, the light bends towards the normal.